big welcome to all you beautiful people and poetry lovers to another reading of Poet to Poet brought to you by Different Roots. But before I begin, a very big thank you to Arindam Roy sir for giving me this absolute honor and for having the faith in me and endless gratitude to Onumita Roy. I am Urna Bose and today I will be reading a sensitive, dynamic, or inspiring poet. Nandini Sahu dons many hats. Professor, poet, folklorist, researcher. The brick walls collapsing and each identity stirred effortlessly into her poetry, like sweet sugar granules in a cup of tea. So without further ado, let's read her poem called Half of her lovers are half the world away. Half of her lovers are half the world away by Nandini Sahu. Men who loved their wives and those who did not all fell in love with her when she was simply out and about in the world. Her men knew she was the brimming vessel with an eternal capacity to pour. Well, she didn't think much about love neither of the safe love louds nor of any loves in the conflict zone. Her dry, sardonic wit made them only fall in love more with rationality. Lost in time, with the audacity of hope, she was found in eternity, turning her wounds into wisdom, an expert at the law of diminishing marginal utility. She wanted to be forgotten from their collective memory when she had to wait to watch the slippers of couples in front of the Taj while the couples were clicking away couple pigs to glory. A street urchin poked a hole in her story in the midst of a deadly inner silence. Won't I even be allowed to wander lonely like a cloud? Ah! She, of course, had her many longings and belongings. Her men ever so often left her drained, high and dry. Some other times they cared to say a proper goodbye. In any case, she didn't judge them. She just did lie low. Her self-introspection and serious reflection were a caricature of living, loving. Her faith was bigger than fears, with time's intoxicants in her hands. There was no wind in there, just air to protect her men from fading. Above her outer skin, there were wordless walls, with a fistful of sky. With time, invariably, her men turned into distant memories. She wrote the stories of many a life, but her own story lay buried at some place in a vault. One day, she lost the keys to that treasury that she had carefully concealed. She had that habit, save the best for the last, but much cared for stuff from her wardrobe was always lost. I'll read the last bit out for you guys once again. She had that habit, save the best for the last, but much cared for stuff from a wardrobe was always lost. Thank you, Nandini ma'am. Your poetry has a way of honoring our sense of solitude and loss. The things that are lost forever, swallowed by the hands of time. It's a pleasure and an honor reading your work. Also, a very big thank you to each and every one of you for being with us here today. Take care and shine on.